Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. Inside this wrapper, we have a new smartwatch for you. It's called a Your Health Tracker, and I'm pushing it up to the head of the list for reviews right now because it's on a super duper flashy kind of sale where you get a really deep discount from Banggood. It's called the Goral S2. It's a color screen, blood pressure, heart rate, blood oxygen, all that good stuff. And here's what it's got inside. It's uh, here they're calling it a bakey, but it's also a growl. So um, multiple names, Android 5.1 or iPhone compatible. It's um, Chinese and English language with all these other supported apps. And it uses the JU app for tethering. There's its size, and it says the S2 is a square display. Interesting. We'll take a look at that. 120 milliamp hour battery, 30 days standby time, and 12 days of use. A G sensor inside of it, but no GPS. And waterproof, heart rate monitor, blood oxygen, and oxygen saturation, which they're claiming is experimental function. It's for reference only, so don't rely on it for uh, medical predictions and such. Let's get inside this box and take a look at it. It's got one of those like point of purchase sales. It opens up so you can access it. And an interesting band and an interesting bezel. The band is like a, uh, it's really soft, leathery type of a band. By the way, you saw it's IP67 on this. Was that on this sheet? Yeah, right there. Waterproof IP67, so you can go swimming with it. Totally sealed. Look at that. Nice job. Wow. All right. What else do we have in the box? We have, uh, looks like, symbols for the charging unit. Whoa! Wow, for $24, this, you get a uh, really nice little dock here. Okay, that's just going to sit right in there. Yep, it locks in nice. And then a USB charging cable, of course, which you plug in to charge it up. And another little box. This is a good gift presentation type of a watch, too. The well, uh, well laid out and packaged. Smart. Bracelet user's manual. Okay, let's run through it. See what they're talking about here. Yeah, it does look like a square display, doesn't it? It's not a round one. It's going to have everything contained in a little square. There's the quick start information on how you actually get it to go. Here's the QR code to download the tethering app for either iOS or Android. Yeah, and a review of the display and the different pages you're going to see on it. Some more detailed information. Where you should be wearing it to get the best results. Oh, rel relatively extensive uh, little manual here. Okay. Wow. Phone connection. How you set up the Bluetooth on it. Basic pairing, it looks like. Backstage lock. Huh. App functions. Okay, there's some of what you're going to see in the app. Where it's accumulating the heart rate and giving you a graph. Wow, this is really an elaborate manual. Unlucky we have a chance to go through it all. And other functions. Okay. Common questions? <laughs> okay, this is how we make a really long review out of it. Uh -huh. I found from your all's feedback that uh, when you really are zeroing in on something to buy, you want to learn as much about it as you can. And having access to things like being able to freeze frame and read these manuals is really valuable. And here we go, same thing in Chinese. So that's why I take the time to put it on the screen. Well, it's magnetic too, look at that. Magnetic with the two pin dock that uh, charges it. 
which we're going to do right now. We'll charge it up and turn it on. It's even got a twist to turn uh, and show time, but it shows the time in a, in a little red display, which is pretty cool because when you touch it, you get back to your main display. All right, I've got it. Uh, it's on. It, uh, it's ready to go. And we're going to run quickly through the watch and then take a look at the app. From the time display, you can go over and see what your step count is. Then it'll calculate, of course, your calories burn and your distance. There's a training section we'll come back to. And then you hit the biometrics. You've got blood pressure, which if you just wait a little bit, it's going to, using the diodes in the back, interrogate your arm and come back up with your blood pressure. Now, this particular watch, like a lot of them that we've seen, does this incrementally. So we're getting the blood pressure in a reading all by itself. There it goes as it adjusts to find what the average blood pressure is and settles in. If I touch it again, I get over, um, that was pulse rate. If I get over here, I get into blood pressure now. And it's got to test everything all over again. Uh, we have reviewed a couple of units that it does it all at once. And that's pretty cool because you get all your numbers at the same time. But if you're with this watch and you want to test it, you get the um, biometric you want to explore, leave it there, and then let it do its testing analysis and it'll come back with results for you. Blood pressure often takes longer. Saying I'm 108 over 70 and it vibrated when it flashed that up on the screen and it went off. So it gives you one number and then that's it. Whereas the pulse rate you saw, we had a continuous pulse rate going on there. Then you get blood oxygen, which is usually well over 95% to 99%. Uh, just depends on where you're at. And it's using the same technology that we see in all of them. And that's the little green diode shining light into your body and uh, waiting for the reflection to come back. And the changes in that reflection of the light bouncing off your blood, moving through your capillaries is basically what it's using to get the information it can calculate all of this stuff from. And there's our blood oxygen. Then we go back in here, we got messages. It'll just tell you the number of messages you've received if you have it set up to push from your phone and more. And when we go into more holding down, we get a stopwatch, the ability to find your phone and the information about this watch. And uh, you can turn it off from here to save power or you can reset all of the data as well. Once again, you're back to more and then you cycle around again. So those are all the things you see on the watch. The watch has got a really nice build quality. It's got little red dots around the edge. The leather band is a very soft, almost a cowhide kind of a band. It looks like uh, easily removable, very flexible. And your heart rate diodes and charging port are there. And it's all governed by this app called J-U, the letter J and the word Y-O-U. You can set up an account and do all of that, or you can skip past the login and go directly into the app itself. This is just going to be a quick look at the app. I don't have a lot of data in here because I want to get this up so you guys have time to take advantage of that super cheap price on this watch. So when it comes into the summary screen, supposedly you're already set up, you'll have all of your data there to take a look at. But since we aren't, we have to go over here to setting. Setting is where you get the um, basically setting information. Here's where you can bind your device. It's the S2. I've already done that for you. Like how I'm moving through these faster? You have download data. This is the same as synchronize. You can authorize WeChat if you use that and connect the two together that way. You can set up your overall target, your sedentary reminder uh, frequency, if you want to have it vibrate to remind you, and uh, your device alarms. And here's where you can set three different alarms on the phone that will push to the watch so that the watch can remind you, even if you're nowhere near the phone. Another interesting thing I saw there is uh, the buttons are all backwards. Take a photo is where you put it in this mode. You see the watch is lighting up. And now I'll move this a little bit. And if I touch that button, of course, I have it in the right direction. Touch it down here, I guess. There, it took a picture and saved that. 
So that's common, you see that everywhere. Then we have auto heartbeat detection. This is where you can activate it by turning the switch in the wrong direction, but making it go on. With uh, this, you should be able to get regular heart rate uh, numbers taken from the watch, pushed to the phone so you can see it in the graph, uh, which we'll show you in just a minute. Then you've got message settings. This is where once you sync this whole thing up, you can turn on specific um, apps that you would like to have information pushed to your phone, including all of these, but not all of the stuff that's uh, in your phone. So you're limited to these as far as I can tell. Notification access is there and accessibility is here. And these are all settings that you have to set up on your phone to make it work. Then we've got unit settings, uh, Imperial or English. Turn English units on if we want. Um, device time. Here's where we can sync the time, which it automatically does when you sync it up. And of course, you can turn it on to 12 hour time. Well, it's not even noon yet, so we wouldn't be able to tell. But it's set to do that. Uh, power savings. You can have the raise the uh, your wrist to see the time, which we've got on right now, and the device vibrate. And the interrupt mode is the time frame from which it won't do that. Not only does it save power, but if you wear it to bed, it won't be lighting up as you roll over in bed, right? Pretty nice extra uh, feature to have on these uh, devices. And that's there. Now, software version, firmware version, firmware upgrade, which I checked and it's the latest version. And device recovery, your user info is where you put in your stuff. I went in as a generic user, not logged in, so it's given me all of these things by default. And you've got to, I imagine, set uh, your age. What do you want to say? 46 uh, height in inches, 55. Oh, it's in centimeters, sorry. Mm. 200 I have no idea centimeters but it took it and weight in pounds it says uh, 128 there got some random numbers for you which should factor into computing your distance and calories burned and then you could change the password which we haven't set here's a send it up to the cloud type of a thing and everything is done in settings and then we could exit it. Now, that's setting, so we come back over here. Here would be your step data, distance, calories consumed, your blood pressure showing there, heart rate over here. It looks like it should scroll because it's a little off the screen, but it doesn't, and I don't see a blood oxygen entry. Your sleep time, siesta time, which I believe they mean light sleep, deep sleep, and uh, pause, I guess, when you're awake. Then you go into the individual areas. Here's where you would see your graph for the three different, and probably a bar graph of the three different types of sleep and the numbers related to that. And the evaluation that's going to tell you if you've had good sleep or lack of sleep or just what. Your sport area is where we've got the, uh, the workout that we didn't really get into here on the chart when we are over to where it says training and press and hold we get into this mode where you've got a stopwatch heart rate and steps and as long as you have this on it's acquiring that data and when you finish that and sync it up i'm pretty sure here in the sports area is where you're going to see that information then you've got this detailed weekly and monthly statistical data here you go for the whole month and it's going to give you information on your step statistics and your sleep statistics. It doesn't scroll. Nothing on heart rate or blood pressure shown up there. And then we're back to settings. So that's all there is about the app and that's all there is about the band, except that it is on a really good special right now. You can pick it up for basically under $25 from Banggood. Check the show notes down below. 
We'll have a buying link directly to this page for you. And of course, if it's already passed and you're watching this review, if we have a coupon available, we'll have that next to the buying link for you as well. Cool, the Growl S2 color screen, blood pressure, heart rate monitor, blood oxygen, all of that fitness band. And it's pretty bright and it's got that nice um, red screen that comes on when you twist your arm to see it. And a long, uh, long life battery, uh, definitely waterproof, definitely removable bands. You can carry it in your pocket if you'd prefer. Not too bad. All right. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Thanks for your subscription. And we will see you back here soon. Take care.